It's the question on everyone's mind. Okay, not really, but it's definitely a question that many ask. But can people really make themselves grow taller? I'm going to speak to a bunch of experts to get to the bottom of all this growing taller stuff. And now's probably the time to say, I'm short. Like, pretty short. I swear I never had a growth spurt. I spent my whole life having people say things like, You are actually really short. You're like a, like a little pocket rocket. I wear shoes that add height pretty much every day. <laughs> and I always make sure to walk on the taller side of the footpath. I say I'm 157 centimetres tall. But I think I'm probably shorter than that. I just don't really want to measure myself. All right, go as tall as you can, tall as you can. That's it. OK. Look at you go. You're 154. 154? That's OK, that's good. Are you happy with that? I wasn't happy. After slowing down and punching in on the footage, my head seemed above the line and this pencil on a slant. So I got a second opinion. 155. I'm going to go with 155. My dad always tells, you tells me that you could have been taller if you had eaten more protein and exercised more. So is he right? Lots of people seem to agree that some things can help you grow. But what do experts say? My first stop is with Nicole Williams, who is head of orthopaedic surgery at the Women's and Children's Hospital in Adelaide. Seems that about 60 to 80 percent, depending on where you live, of your height is made up by your genetics, and then the other 20. 20 to 40% is made up by environmental factors. That's sort of coming out study after study, so it seems like that's pretty accurate. Exercise, sleep and your nutrition, are they all ones that could potentially make a difference? So the ones that have really been shown to make a difference is the nutrition, because it takes a lot of energy to grow. So you have to make sure that when you're a little kid, that you have good food and that you have the right sort of nutrients so that you grow, so that you've got the energy to get taller and taller. So food is the big one, because it gives us the energy we need to grow as well as vitamins and minerals to keep us healthy and strong. And some foods stimulate growth hormone, which is very important for growing. As for sleep and exercise, Nicole says they also stimulate growth hormone. But experts aren't quite sure whether they play a huge role in what makes us taller. But a healthy amount of both is important for proper growth. OK, so for someone like me, how much of a difference do you think environmental factors ultimately can make? Nowadays, we're generally we're doing pretty well probably only a centimetre or two centimetres difference. That makes me feel a bit better because one or two centimetres, that's not that much. Well, you could go back to your dad and say, hey dad, about 80% of this is genetics. Yeah. How tall is your dad? Yeah, you wouldn't find it shocking right now if I was to say that my parents are pretty short. <laughs> it, that's <laughs> what's to be expected. OK, so let's recap. Genetics determine most of your height, but some environmental factors can influence it, especially nutrition. This study on human height reckons humans today are on average about 9 centimetres taller than their ancestors 100 years ago. This growth spurt lines up with improvements in health and nutrition during this period. As for the individual, you can only get taller while you're still growing. And that's because at the end of our long bones, we have things called growth plates. As we grow, they get added onto, but they seal up around the end of puberty. Once those growth plates have disappeared everywhere, that's it, your bones can't get any longer. I will mention there is a surgery that can make adults taller, where your legs literally get broken and a metal rod is placed in between the break to make you taller. But here's what Nicole had to say about that. That's very, very controversial and pretty dangerous. There's lots of complications with the surgery, so um, I wouldn't have it done and I wouldn't recommend doing it for you. Can I tell you something really depressing? What? As we start to get older and older, we start to shrink. When your 30s it starts, it doesn't happen significantly until we're much older, but unfortunately it all starts going the other way again. This freaked me out, so I thought I'd change what I could. James is a physio. I'm a physio. <laughs> and when it comes to my posture, he says my pelvis drifts forward and my upper back is a bit curled, both of which could make me appear shorter. Do you think that I'm secretly tall but I've just been slouching this whole time? Potentially. <laughs> the good news is, he says building strength in those areas can help my posture. And then it got me thinking, can my clothes make me look taller? Nicola, what do you reckon? Definitely. 
So there's a few tricks of the trade which we use, high waisted. And then your tones being similar colours, match your shoes to your bottom half of your outfit. Anything which has got vertical lines, to actually go extreme length on someone who is um, not as tall will instantly make them taller. Up until the point when I stand next to somebody tall. <laughs> like me? Yeah, yeah, like right? Here's the thing. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing like me, you have some sort of hang up about your height. And maybe the most important question is, why do we care so much about height? Hello. Clea here is a psychologist. So it might be that different social or cultural groups value different traits. So whether it's height or whether it's hair colour or eye colour or anything like that. And if we see that the group around us value a certain physical trait, then it's more likely that we're going to want to strive to achieve that. The more I spoke to people about height, I realised lots of people want to be taller. And there's studies that have found we often associate being tall with status, power and dating and professional success. You can even hear the value of stature in the way people talk. Being short changed, standing tall, looking up to your hero and many more. But that's just looking at studies and stats. When it comes to the individual, height doesn't stop you from being happy, right? Clear? I don't think so. And I definitely hope not because I'm on the shorter side as well. <laughs> I think what makes us feel happy is having a rich, full, meaningful life. Do you think you can change the way you think about something and that can ultimately make you feel better about it? You know, if we're able to accept the parts of us that we can't shift and change and focus our energy on the things that we can work on um, and celebrate our strengths, that really helps develop this unconditional self-acceptance. And then we have control, you know what I mean? Like we can shift the way we think about things, which is really empowering. Yes. It is empowering. I feel yeah. good. I feel good. good. <laughs> you don't need to feel tall because you're amazing just as you are. So I'm Leela and I'm 155 centimetres and I'm okay with that. And whether you're short, average, tall or really tall, I hope you're okay with your height too. Hey, thanks for sticking it out. I know it was a tall order. If you want to see more videos like this, you should hit subscribe and check out our channel. We're pretty cool.